splat time! Yes, Splatterlot once more invites 12 courageous and canny attackers to do battle with the castle defenders as they strive to capture the much treasured Splatterlot crown. I got a wicked wedge right now! Let's go! Will the defenders succeed in keeping the attackers at bay and preserve the kingdom of Splatterlot? Or will the attackers emerge victorious? Who will tumble? Who will tilt? Who will teeter? And who will go splat? We're Dick and Dom, and welcome to... Splatterlots! Bless you. No, Splatterlots. Our show, you know, where we do a lot of splatting Splatterlots. Oh, yes, yes. The medieval game show that invites 12 brave young warriors to battle it out over three rounds until we are left with a worthy champion to claim the Splatterlot crown. Yes, that one. Sorry, I just thought you had a, you know, cold. No, no, no. I'm just excited and raring to go. Come well, on. in that case, we better get on with it, then. In round one, the 12 attackers get tested by the monstrous moat. The fastest six then do all they can to escape the slippery stockade. But only four will make it to the final, where they'll attempt to storm the castle and capture the coveted Splatterlot crown. So let's take a closer look at the first round, which is the moat challenge. We start with the baffling barrels. There's certainly no barrel of laughs. Then it's up the slippery slope and across a terrifying rolling mace. Does Beastly beat terrifying? The Beastly battle axe is the next, and then the rope bridge of disaster. And finally, the perilous pole vault. So bafflement, terror, beastliness, disaster, and peril. Ah, sounds like a perfectly normal day in Splatterlot. <laughs> Bring it on, I say. OK, there's only one more vital ingredient to add to the mix. Coriander? What? No, oh, the defenders. Oh, yes. <laughs> Watch out. I'm lurking in the shadows. Shaden, she's shady. Have lots of fear! Scab is here! Scab! He's scabby! And here's the lovely Belista. She's my favourite. Dom, is she looking over at me, is she? Oh, police! And here they are, the defenders just posing naturally for the camera. About as natural as uh, toffee-flavoured crisps. Come on, let's get this party started. I, uh, don't think she heard you. Yeah, that's better. First up is Adriana, who likes dragons. Oh, it looks like her round will drag on and on and on and on. It's a dragon thing. Hi, Adriana. Scab's in a good mood. Bad go, scab. Go, 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 go. Oh, sausages. Well, he's in an even better mood now. Adriana, falling like a lost and frightened little kitten. No, no, save the little kitten. But there is no kitten. I think she's scared, Belista. I think she's terrified. Oh, they're talking about the kitten. Look, there is no kitten. Just as well, because this course is no place for cute, fluffy animals. We've all poops. Especially with Adriana tumbling and falling everywhere. This course is slaying her. Slaying? Yeah, look, I'll draw it for you. There you are. <laughs> oh, don't. That's very good, actually. Well, she's made it to the battle axes, look. Say hello to the Huntress! Dick, Dick, police is saying hello. Come on. Oh, and a direct splat. And you've missed your chance now, mate. I'm playing it cool. Whatever, Adriana's also playing it cool and has made it to the pole despite Belisa's efforts. Oh, but she's come undone and into the marmalade. No matter, she makes it in 4.59. Nicholas is next. I want to splat a lot. Well, Nicholas, you've come to the right place. That's pretty much all we do here. And here it goes. And cool, right in the spikes. <laughs> this has everything. He avoids the hurtling paintballs, but the cones do their job. Nick is in there most, but he's fine. Hi there, attacker. Hi, Belista. She's not talking to you, you steam pudding. Oh, oh I say. Oi, oi, shut up. She's mine. I, I, oh. Right, that's better. Oh, poor Nicholas is struggling down the incline. And he goes down into the jam. That was quite a splat, but I think Nicholas will survive. Yes, these attackers are pretty tough competitors. And Nicholas finishes with a time of seven minutes, silly dance. I Oh, no, this could be hyper. Ah! Oh, the defenders don't need any more hyping up. Oh, screamer. Ooh. She stopped. What? Oh, oh, yes, she has the little boo-boo. Just get the attacker, Scab. Oh, no, she Hello. hasn't. Good work, Melissa. Stop <laughs> screaming, please. Rujan, stop screaming. And when she stops screaming, she starts succeeding. Oh, no, the defenders are at it now. Put the earmuffs back on. Four minutes 52. Not bad. What? Not bad. What? Not bad. I got a wicked wedge right now. Let's go. Well, looks like this one's full of beans. Oh, I hope not. Well, it's a good start. Ah, yes. Oh. oh what the heck? 
My name is Shaden, and you do not want to mess with me. He's not messing at all. Flippy, is it? Oh, look at that. He practically dances over the mace. But will he succeed the incline? Yes. Surely the battle axes will slow him down. Well, no trouble with the first, but he's stalling on the second. Come on, Travan, check your spark plugs. Don't flood the engine, and... Yes, he's ticking over again. Come on, Galista, you can stop it! He's doing so well! Oh, oh, what a shame. He opens his mouth and it all goes wrong. Sounds like you. Oh, yeah! 145, that's the fastest round so far today. Oh, I really hope he doesn't win, because we're going to have to hear and see more of that. Look, look at that. And it's Shay. I'm nearly evil. Yes, well, Scab and Shaden are maxi evil. That was almost funny. Blue monger. Keep them coming, Scab. Now check out this laser-like precision from Shaden. She's certainly more precise here than what my English teacher ever was, in it. Kumquat Sploot! That's knocked her off her balance. Falling in like a last frightened little puppy. Oh, where? Uh, save the puppy! Oh, will you stop mentioning fluffy animals, especially around the battle axes? Shay looking like a natural. Oh, well, a natural disaster. That was one huge splat. So there's definitely no puppy, right? No, there isn't! Hold on, is your missus? Let's play a little game called Who Can Get the Most Wet. Mm, why not? She's talking to Shay, who duly obliges by jumping into the moat. Bit of a floppy time there. She's not happy, but she is flappy and clappy. I'm aerodynamic! Well, Alexander's certainly attempting a clean takeoff. But it's a crash landing. I don't know. They come onto this show giving it all the I'm aerodynamic stuff. Can they fly? No. This is Belista's game attacker, and I'm gonna put you to shame. Well, that wasn't very nice from your missus, was it? She's not me, missus. Oh, cruncher! That was a bit awkward, but I think it got away with it. Well, as pilots often say, any landing is a good landing. Well, despite having a good whacking, he still makes it in at 3.06. But he's crumpled and pumpled with that little dance. So, at the halfway stage, Trevon leads with a time of 1.45, and Shay's 10.21 is the time to beat. So, do you think uh, Belista fancies me? What? She's a violent, potty mouth evil villain who hangs around with losers like Scav and Thorn. What could she possibly have in common with you? Well, I used to have a potty, I've got that scab on my big toe, and I hang around with you, and you're the biggest loser I know. <laughs> Fair enough. Coming up, six new attackers attempt to make their mark. Who to bow on this unforgiving course? So it's math time, viewer. 12 minus 6, because that's what we're going to be left with after round one. No, can't be done. My fingers don't go up to 12. Great. Remember, only the six fastest contestants will make it through to round two and the chance of capturing the ultimate prize, the fabled crown of Splatlock. Which they can then wear as a hat a lot. <laughs> yes. Shut up. Uh, let's remind ourselves of what the moat challenge is all about. Hat a lot. The first six attackers completed the course with some impressive times. And some amazing splats. Siobhan looks safe with 1.45, but Shay's got the time to beat 10.21. So come on, people, let's pump it up for the rest of round one. Let me hear you say, yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's challenge Annika. I'm 97% Hmm, <laughs> so what's the other 3%? Oh, your maths has improved. I took my socks off this time. Slippy, is it? Come on, Annika, stop being a little princess. Hey, the princess and the pea shooter. It's officially called a splatzooka. She doesn't know which way to fall. Oh, yes, she does. Down. And another top splat. Look at that. Ooh, Kenneth Kendall. Hey, Annika. Oh, do we need those ear defenders again? Oh, and that incline takes another prisoner. Good job she's 97% rubber. Oh, Annika Pila rice pudding. No, you're not. That water cannon has been working overtime today. Belista is definitely happy with her work. Oh, shall we rename the show Scream a lot? 536, that could be good enough. I lost 19 pounds in Splatterlot. Now, AJ thinks Splatterlot is a diet plan. He's also into environmental issues. Oh, here, hold on, I've got a visual gag for this. Look at that, no dumping, because he's into the environment. Well, I'll dump you. You guys better get ready. Let's have a drum roll for the mace roll. Oh, very percussive. Nice solo there from AJ. End the gag on a cymbal crash. Oh dear, AJ talks us all. Well, then he splats the splat. <laughs> the defenders are getting smirky. Well, AJ's done his best, but sadly that time isn't good enough. Next up, Brimful of Asher. I'm gonna rock this castle! Oh, confident and weavy. Oh, pummeling. Oh, I think the castle just rocked Asher. That is quite a splat. I really like the colour of your helmet. Very nice. You like pink? 
No! Well, scab revealing his more sensitive side just for a second. And Asha exposing her sensitive side to the rough and tumble of the course. Get ready to get wet! Yeah, she's ready. Faster! Faster! Uh-oh. You almost hit me! You scab! Oh, and yet again, the squabbling defenders allow another attack here, an easy ride. And that puts goggle eyes in the top six. Hello, Graham. Hi, Graham. I'm Shaden. I'm Scab. And we're your worst nightmare. Oh, well, Graham simply shrugs off the pleasantries and the paintballs. That's because he is, in fact, Captain Cracker. Is he a bird? Is he a plane? Is he a cracker? Is he going to stay dry? Sploosh. Uh, that's a no to all of the above. Thank you, Captain. You cracked me up. He's made it to the perilous pole vault. But his superpowers desert him. And how balletic. That must be the nutcracker. <laughs> You're Desmond too, too much. And Graham cracks open the competition with a super time of 2.43. Stop now. I'm gonna splat a lot! That's the point, Hannah. Hey, Hannah! I hope you like slime. <laughs> Hannah meets Scab. Is it really the best time for introductions? I think she's about to be introduced to the moat. Yes, Peachy Pie's in. This is her first look. Hannah thinks she's in one of those lumberjack log rolling tournaments. She makes it look so easy. Like falling off a log. Oh, I'm sorry. No, mate, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, Hannah has made it over the finishing line in a time of 4.39, which should be good enough. I'm here to take over this territory. Ooh. OK, then, Brad, take over the territory in your own time. Well, the territorial Brad is taking over and crumble whacker. Yeah, forget the taking over. How about some falling over? Ouch! 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 Come on, Brad. We're waiting. Bad a lot, not slow a lot. Scab there, trying to be funny. But he's not. Oh, but Brad now speeding up. Ripper! Look at that fancy footwork, which reminds me. Not funny anymore. Come on, Bradders, take over your territory. It's crunch time. No, it's Billista time. You haven't met the Huntress yet, Bradley. Forget him. I'm waiting. She makes my legs turn to jelly. Oh, well, look what she's done to Bradley's leg. Told you it was crunch time. Ripper! Bradley, I'm disappointed. Is that all you got? Wait and see. You show her, Brad. I'm still waiting. I've been waiting for the past 20 minutes. Go on, show her. What you made of. See, I knew Brad wasn't right for Ballista. And sadly, that time isn't right for the second round either. Here's the six fastest Trevon, Graham, Alexander, Asher, Hannah, and Muzan. And they'll be going through to the stockade. Yep. Well played, guys. But it's not much of a reward, really, because this round really favours the defenders. How do you mean? Well, basically, the attackers will be stuck in a hole with the defenders at the top, armed to the teeth. Where's the gag? Well, there isn't one. That's the point. The next round will be no laughing matter, if you pardon the pun. While those nasty defenders reload and prepare to launch another splat attack in round two, Dick here would like to demonstrate his tried and trusted strategy for conquering the next round without getting in the least bit wet. Mr. McCourt. Ah, get off, you stupid leave it. No, no more get out of it, you just shut! Let's remind ourselves who cleared the course in the fastest time. Only the speediest six will face the next challenge. And there they are, Trevon, Captain Cracker, Alexander, Asha, Hannah, and Screaming Queen, Wooza. Estelle of seven. Trevon was by far the fastest in round one, but that counts for nothing now. Yes, everyone starts from scratch in the stockade. So let's see what awaits our brave attackers in the next round. Get on. On opposite sides of the stockade are ladders and rungs. Attackers will need to grab the rungs, make it over the wheel of certain doom and build their ladders. Then they can grab one of four flags, climb the ladder and escape the stockade. But they've also got these dirty unwashed filth buckets to contend with. Which dirty unwashed filth buckets? These ones. The threatening thorn. Oi, it's rude to point. The Godmeister Gildar. And Kookaburra. You don't stand a chance. Oh, no, maybe they do. No, some of them they do really well, the They stand yeah. a chance. Oh, great, that's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kookaburra's already foaming at the mouth, and here's how they line up. Asher's in the pink. Muzan's in the red. Graham's in the... Oh, in the foam. Trevon is unrecognisable. Hannah's in the purple for now, and Alex is in a yellow foamy mess. Remember, they must remain strapped to the wheel until they hear the klaxon. And we're off. The attackers make a break for their rungs. Well, they're quick today. Trevon is already back on the wheel with a rung. Oh, but the annihilating arm does some annihilating. Oh, and some more nasty arm. It's like a big slippery foamy cake. Meanwhile, Graham has begun building. Oh, the attackers in the house say yeah. Any response from the attackers? Oh, yes, that's Trevon again. 
Yes, all the attackers in the house go splat. Graham, oh yes, shows how it should be done. Oh, and in case you missed it, Thorn has a direct hit. It's Trevon again. What a start he's had. What a splat. <laughs> oh, duck, Alex. And Gildar finally makes his mark with the slime stick. Are you good? Do I? I detect some sass. I don't like sass. It is my quest to rid the world of sassiness. Uh-oh, sounds like Gildar's on a mission. Meanwhile, here are some rung stats. Muzan has a fifth rung, Alex has two, and Asher also has two. And here comes Graham with... Oh, a face full of slime. Yes, Gildar wants a sassiness free world and starts by wiping the smile off the face of Captain Cracker. OK, Muzan. Duck, 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 duck! Oh! Hello. Goodbye. And Graham is the first to grab a flag, and he's off towards his ladder. Now, Travon has been picked on all round, but he has the second flag. And Graham's won, he's through! Oh, but look out, Travon is still on the collision course. Gay! This time, Luzanne is on the receiving end. Well, sassy young Travon has recovered and is now climbing, but his nemesis, Gildar, awaits. Oh, not again. Duck, will you just duck? Travon is through and he turns the sass up to 11. Oh, I give up. Look, it's not like I haven't warmed them. I know. Oh! See this one? This one's been giving me sass. Oh, not more sass. Well, Gildar is really laying down the law today. If you sass, he will slime. End of. Is there any more sass? Are we done with the sass? Does anyone else have any more sass? Sass, 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 sass. Sassy. Sassy. I have more bucket. Well, Alex had that coming. Yes, Alex sassed for it. Sorry, couldn't resist it. Meanwhile, Ash is still building, and so is Hannah. In fact, it's all just a bit too relaxed. Oh, I don't believe it! Is it that difficult? All I have to do is... Oh! You were becoming hysterical. Oh. I think it's time for a little bit of a shower down. <laughs> oh, wake up call there from Thorn, and it looks like Alex is singing in the shower! <laughs> oh, tell me there's no encore. <laughs> oh. oh, that's better from Alex! Right, I'm going to lose it again! Easy, easy. Remember, he's the one being splurged, not yeah, you. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, Alex. Look, see? They're learning now, keeping their heads down. I'm getting absolutely nowhere. Brilliant. Ah! You're out of control. I am a little bit. So is this round. One of the attackers needs to make a move, and it's Alex! Oh, and there's Asher making the wrong move. Alex has finished! And finally, Hannah has got the final flag, but it looks like she's stuck up there. Oops, but she descends the wheel way too fast and gets a splat for her trouble. But she's going to make it through to the final. That's it. And the win is on Graham, Trevon, Hannah and Alex. Which means that Asher and Muzan leave Splatlot after visiting the gift shop. Yes, well done. But remember, no one's won anything yet. <laughs> so these four will be moving on to the final fearsome challenge. Which means it's crown capturing time. Yes, one of them will be crowned, but all will be thwacked, grimed, toppled, slimed, and above all, splatted. It's splat time. Why don't we just take a moment to celebrate some classic splats? Yes! why we call it Splatterlot. Yes, this is it. We're approaching the final assault, where even the bravest and most skillful of attackers can come a cropper. It's usually at this point that uh, Dick likes to add to the sense of occasion by doing this. So, who will win? Graham, Trevon, Alexander or Hannah? Well, they've all done really well. I mean, him, 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 her, 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 him, I just don't know. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Yes, one of them, definitely. Look, they've got crocodile heads, war paint and weapons. It's a no-brainer. Let's check out the course. They start with the pole drop into the funky foam. Then they tackle the terrible teeter totters and the barrier of all barriers. Then it's a hop across the lily pads and up the very wet water wall to claim the Splatterlock crown. And now Scab will start the proceedings. Everywhere we go! 
Thank you. People want to know. People want to know. Who we are. Who we are. And what do we do here? What do we do here? So you think uh, defenders can still win? Well, that could have gone better. Well, that awful dirge can only have helped the attackers who are looking very, very focused. There's the klaxon, and they're straight into the foam, followed by a face full of slime from Gildar. What happens when you're sad? Oh, and Thorn misses Graham completely with his bookie. How could he miss from there? Thorn makes an early break. Oh, he nearly receives an early break. He's really added to today's splat count. You picked the wrong day to mess with the defenders of Splatterlot. She's right, you know. They should have come yesterday. The defenders were doing the weekly shop, and Tinkor forgot to lock the castle. Chiron again in trouble, this time from Belista and Kookaburra, who is still out of control, this time with a vaporizer. Oh. Hang on, look, 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 Gildar's coming to help. And Kookaburra's found the on button again. And Alex finds a falling off button. And her now teetering and taking a horse flat for her troubles. Ooh, these teeters are terrible, aren't they? Can Graham do any better? Just the sassy guy! Gildar's now just resorted to shouting. That sass really got to him earlier. Now, has Graham learnt anything? Uh, no. Well, he's learnt how to fall off and get a wetting. Battle-weary Trevon is leaping into the lead here. And Alex is now tottering on the teeter. Looks like Graham taught him everything he knows. Ha! Huh? Maybe Hannah can show the boys how it's done. Or not. And Shaden adds to Graham's woes by sliming him. You're scared of me cos I'm scabbed! I don't think Scab needs to explain that he's scary. Oh, and he doesn't need to tell Travon how accurate he is. Dom, look out, Doc! Where? <clears throat> Can't believe it. After all that nonsense in round two, and you didn't even duck. Anyway, back to the contest, and Graham, Alex and Hannah are still teetering. Travon, however, is almost at the water wall. He's certainly doing it the hard way. Oh, me head. Hannah's now drunk most of the water in the arena. Oh, but this could be it. Travon makes his way up the wall. It really doesn't look like anyone's going to stop him now. The crown now so close, but this is unbelievable! Trevon stops to hand out some more sass! Did you just sass me? Trevon has done it! He's the new king of Splatterlots! He's still sassing! You can't stop me! Nobody can Gildar! I think Gildar really needs to talk to someone. You're not sure Scab's the best person for that job. All hail his sassness! Well, today's final will forever be known as the Kookaburra final. When he lost control of that cannon, I thought it was a gunner, you know. The sass final. Look, to be honest, I don't know what sass means, mate. Neither do I. Well, just think of something clever to say, then. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Watch this. So, from sass of the day to splat of the day... It'll have to do. The splat of the day goes to Alex, who was upended by the annihilating arm in the stockade. Don't worry, the arm wasn't damaged in any way. OK, let's remind ourselves how Sassmeister Travon modestly made his way to securing the Splatlock crown. He had a faltering start in round one. He made a few enemies in round two. But it didn't stop his sassiness from claiming the crown. Oh, oh, yeah. That's all for this show. We'll have plenty more splats next time. But for now, here's King Travon, ruler of Splatlock. Yeah. I'm the king of the castle! Yeah! Oi, Travon, you're only renting it. 